pond brook. Pond is right there. Uh, goes underneath the road, runs down a hill, becomes a brook. We're gonna go check it out. I think I found my first composition of the day. Nice little waterfall, nothing major, nothing fancy, just some water moving around a rock. Here it is. There you are. Nice green moss. Waterfall on either side. Here are the settings of the camera. I did two and a half seconds, F11, ISO 50. And let's take a look at the shot. I don't know if you can see that bad. All right, let's dig in the light room and uh, see what we can really make out of it. All right, so let's talk about why I came out today. Today is officially December 1st. And we've had rain for about three days. Normally, brooks aren't moving. Sorry, I just heard a really weird noise down there. Anywho. Normally the brooks aren't running this time of year, December 1st. We've had very little snow. We had like a dusting here once. But three days of rain. And I've got a couple hours this morning to do some shooting. I thought, hey, I haven't been to Burnt Brown Brook all year. So, here I am. So let's see what we can find. You know what's fun about shooting like this, out here? The weather changes all the time. So right now, through the canopy I can see blue sky, big white clouds, puffy clouds, and fog rolling in. Fog is getting real thick. Fog wasn't here 10 minutes ago. All right, so found another shot, another image, and uh, that's what we're looking at. This waterfall here is probably one of the bigger ones. Actually, I'm lying to you. It is definitely one of the bigger ones. It's way up here, so it's way up and makes its way down all the way through. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be a black and white shot. I'm um, shooting at uh, two and a half seconds, F11. I actually bumped the uh, ISO up to 160 because I wanted to get more of the surrounding areas. 
Let's take a look at the shot and the camera. All right. After a little bit of Lightroom, possibly some Photoshop to get rid of the Bud Light can right there. That's annoying. little quick tip for you when shooting your uh, waterfalls any sort of water you should always have your circular polarizer on spin it so it takes all the reflection out of the water but when you turn your camera to a vertical shot remember to spin your circular polarizer very important otherwise the reflections come right back you gotta remember to do that and I did Go me. All right, let's move on. Okay, this is probably the last shot of the day. It's starting to rain again. A little misty, a little wet. And then all the water that's already up there on the leaves is falling down on me. And my camera, a little wet. All right, so here's the shot we're looking at. These falls right here. ISO 160, F11, one second. I don't want to move that water too much. I want to stop it, but not like really, really stop it. It's kind of weird to say that, but here's the shot. There it is. All right, and this is what it looks like. Out of Lightroom. Okay, I lied. I was not done after that last photo. That's the problem with these brooks. You keep going down, you're gonna find more and more falls. This is probably my last one. It's really starting to rain hard. Here's my waterfall. I'm gonna just take this shot right here. Uh, it's raining real hard. Let's see what we get. Camera's getting wet. Come on. All right. That's the shot, one more time, two and a half seconds, bumped up the ISO to 160 F11. So, if you like the video, ooh, you're a little dirty, hang on one second. So if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it and you want to see more, and you want to support this channel, subscribe. That way you'll get notified every time I throw up a new video. All right, and uh, don't forget to share. Share on Facebook or Twitter or whatever all the kids are sharing on nowadays. All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. I gotta get out of here. It's too gorgeous. I'll be stuck here all day long too.